In the streets of Senegal's capital, Dakar, anti-riot police clashed with hundreds of protesters on Friday, all rallying to the call from opposition leaders to oppose the delay of presidential elections. Friday's protests, which also gripped other cities, were the largest and most serious bout of unrest since the delay was announced. A local hospital seeking anonymity confirmed the death of a student in the northern town of St. Louis, where similar clashes were reported. The upheaval comes barely five days after Senegal's parliament voted to push back the vote to December, sealing an extension of President Macky Sall's mandate. Senegal's Justice Minister, Aisata Tal Sall, defended the sudden postponement, calling it legal and not an attempted power grab. When people start saying that it was the president who wanted to postpone, they are acting in bad faith. My response to these people is to tell them that the initiative was a parliamentary initiative by a group in the National Assembly, which is even an opposition group. So the president never wanted to postpone the presidential election. He was preparing for it. His camp was up in arms. I was a politician. In my commune, I had completed setting up the electoral committee to take charge of the electoral commission. We were ready. Now, when the deputies wanted to postpone the elections, the president stopped in order to respect the separation of powers. Sal, who has reached his constitution limit of two terms, said he delayed the vote due to dispute over the candidate list that threatened the credibility of the electoral process. Opposition candidates who united this week to challenge the decision say they will fight the delay to the highest court. The government says they are resting their time. The law passed by the National Assembly requires a majority of three-fifths of MPs because we mustn't forget that it is a qualified majority that can postpone and not a simple majority. So a certain number of MPs voted in favor of this. The law is a constitutional law and it has the force of constitutional rules and the Constitutional Council cannot examine a law that has the force of constitutional rules. It can examine ordinary laws, it can examine organic laws, but it cannot examine constitutional laws. So if the law is applied, the Constitutional Council will have to declare itself incompetent in the face of the appeals lodged against it. Critics and pressure groups, including regional economic bloc ECOWAS, have cautioned Senegal against jeopardizing peace and stability during difficult times for West Africa. The United Nations has also urged all stakeholders in Senegal to engage in dialogue. The Secretary General is closely following with concern the developments in Senegal. The Secretary General urges national stakeholders to engage in dialogue, uphold a peaceful political environment, refrain from the use of violence and to ensure the holding of an inclusive and transparent presidential elections within the framework designated by the Senegalese constitution. The Secretary General reaffirms the United Nations commitment to continuing to support the consolidation of democracy and promotion of peace, stability and development in Senegal. Senegal has long been seen as one of the most stable democracies in West Africa, having never experienced a military coup. It has had three largely peaceful transfers of powers and never delayed a presidential election. Muturi Kaibere, CGTN.